So I got me brew. It's time for a review. Let's get a little swig of this. Oh, blinding. Right, let's get straight into this review. So, when it comes to Ghostbusters the video game, I think I am the most qualified person to give an honest opinion on the remaster. Because there's nobody on planet Earth that's played this game more than me. Hands down. And I have the proof to back it up. As you can see, these are my stats. I've been the highest ranking Ghostbuster on Ghostbusters the video game for the 360 for 10 years in a row. I've held multiple leaderboards for first places and I am still playing it to this day. And I'm still surprised people don't realise the multiplayer is still on there. Now the traffic has gone down a, a, a good bit because there's a lot of people that are just not, not playing anymore. But I've absolutely put everything into this game. I love this game to bits. It's my favourite multiplayer game of all time and that's why I am the number one Ghostbuster on, on the video game. Alright, that's enough pat myself on the back. Nobody really cares anyway. <laughs> but when it comes to this video game, I absolutely love it. Now, I know it has its faults. It had a lot of problems in the past. Uh, and it was a glitchy mess at some times. So, I pre-recorded this part of the, the review because I just wanted to get some footage and tell you my background why you should watch the review. So, as soon as it drops, I will put some footage of the Switch version and the Xbox One version. And I'll give you every single comparison that I come across because I know this game like the back of my hand. Let's start things off with a bang. So, first impression, as soon as I turn it on, the visuals are absolutely beautiful. GB's the video game in 4K is amazing looking. Now, the original game 10 years ago was beautiful as well. Like, there's a lot of detail put into this game, and now you can see it all clearly, it's a and it's prototype. absolutely beautiful. It also runs in a, in a solid 60 frames per second, which just makes the whole game a hell of a lot smoother. It just plays beautifully. It, it's like a brand new game, and I, I can't, like, they really did a great job on this part of the game. The remaster of the visuals looks amazing. Mask off. It uh, as for the audio, the audio is very clean and crisp now. Um, yeah, if any of you played the original game, mostly Bill Murray's lines, it, it, it was kind of dipped in, it was either loud or really soft, but now it's clear as a bell. So all the dialogue, it, it just sounds perfect now. Um, the music is always good in this game. Unfortunately, there's not much else to talk about. I mean, the visuals and the sounds are absolutely spot on. They're perfect. They did a great job on that. But that's about it. That's all you're getting. Um, there's nothing extra added to this, unfortunately. If you already have it on the 360 or the PS3. Well, it's really for you guys who've spent the money on a 4K TV and you want the best looking Ghostbuster experience out there. And this is it. Like, This is the best way to play this game now. Now, we have to go through the cons because there is a few. Much I love the game, you know, you gotta call you gotta call it out. Now there has been reports of glitching on the Xbox One version anyway, that's the one I have. And um, there's a certain point in the Cedric level when you are chasing down Sargassi and the water spills through the hallways. Uh, mine's crashed three times there, saying the Xbox is overheating. The There's no chance it's overheating. I look after my equipment, so... The glitch there has happened three times. It's happened to a few people, so that's one gripe we have, but I'm sure that's an easy patch down the road. I guess another gripe I have with it is the lack of content. Um, anybody who's played the 360 and PS3 version, I followed this game to death. I know everything about it. And there was a lot of cut content, which I was really hoping to see back in here now. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing new. Absolutely nothing new to the story. Um, I was kind of disappointed because there's a lot of extra dialogue in the Wii and PS2 version. Which I was kind of hoping that would be in there because I don't think we'll ever see those games remastered and they were really good GB games. So, that was, I was a bit disappointed with that now. But I guess this is more for people who missed out the first time. If you missed out, this is the best Ghostbuster game you can get, 100%. Now, another thing, I was kind of happy they have added it in, but I was kind of annoyed as well. When you finish the game professional or casual, you unlock the Gold Proton Pack and the GB2 Floyd suit. But the GB2 Floyd suit is glitched like it was in the 360 and PS3 versions, so 
it's just it just seems lazy to me that you can access them when you go into gameplay and um, you'll see two new options there so good luck with that finish on professional and you get you just unlock everything so you might as well well there are just a few minor guys but all in all I'm very very happy with the remaster uh, the price point is perfect like anybody looking to just try the game out you can't go wrong for 30 to 20 dollars like depending on where you go to buy it um, if you have the 360 version it's really up to you um, if you want to see it in 4k the visuals are definitely worth the price point um, it's just an amazing looking game and the the reason that I was hoping there was more content in is because it's such a good game I just want more of it like and essentially I don't care what people say this is Ghostbusters 3 I don't care it's the last thing Harold Ramis worked on in my opinion there would be no Ghostbusters if he wasn't there to write it as well. Like everybody say, it was Dan Aykroyd's idea, but Harold Ramis brought it into the modern day. So this is the third Ghostbusters film. I don't care what anybody says, and I have had an absolute blast playing it again. So we know the multiplayer is coming. It's getting rebuilt from the ground up. So I don't know what that means. I just hope they fix it because it was a glitchy mess back in the day. But it was a hell of a lot of fun. I had some great, great crack playing that game online for hours on end like hours on end <laughs> but um, I want to see DLC that should have been coming out for it there was like maps for Goza's Temple the Van Horn Station from GB2 I want to see all that coming out um, when he ranked up he used to unlock uh, different color flight suits it'd be great if you could pick them and use them in the story mode uh, I'd like to see more co-op stuff like, like uh, if any of you played Left 4 Dead, that would have been a great scenario for GBs. Yeah. Trying to get from A to B, capture a big ghost and look after each other's backs. Um, I'd like to see the Mary and Girl make a comeback. They were characters you can pick if you had the DLC for the 360 or PS3 version of it. Also, it would be great if you can lock other characters like Lewis Tully or Janine Melnitz. There's so much potential for the online portion of it. Um, I just hope they do it justice. And hopefully it comes out by the end of this year. So I hope to see all you guys there. Please, please add me by all means. And let's play some serious GBs together because nobody plays it like me. So thanks for watching. I'm going to uh, upload the Switch version of it now. There's not much to talk about the Switch version because um, there's not much extra in it. So now let's have a look at the Switch version. Now any of you know when there is a cartridge in here. It's not one of those fake boxes that they give you the DLC code. I don't know why they do that. Nothing more annoying than buying a game. You want the physical copy and it's just a piece of paper there. So there is a disc in there. So don't worry about it if you're getting on the Switch. So the Switch version, now you have to bear in mind, i got one hand free and the other one on the camera. This is, um, it doesn't look, it's not like 4K resolution. You're basically getting um, the 360 version. Like it's, um, it's a solid 30 frames per second, so it's not as smooth as the Xbox One X. But the sound and the the visual quality is very good. Like you're still getting your bang for your book when it comes to the Switch version. And plus, the big plus is portable. I mean, how cool is that? Like, let's get something going here. All in all, um, all the same unlocks are the same. And um, there's nothing extra, unfortunately, because I always liked it when Nintendo put their own twist on things. I mean, you should have been able to finish the game and um, unlock Luigi's Mansion or something like that. But there's nothing extra on the Switch version, unfortunately. But still, a very good version of the game if you're looking to pick it up on just the Switch. So I would highly recommend um, if you haven't got an Xbox or a PS4 Pro. Pick it up on the Switch if you want it on the go. Um, I've played in docked mode, there's nothing much um, change there. It's still a solid 30 frames per second, unlike the 60 frames of the um, Xbox One version. So, I hope you enjoyed the review. I've really enjoyed playing these games again. And let's just hope they sort the multiplayer out. Because I see a lot of people buying this game, playing it, and then it'll be forgotten again. Except for the hardcore fans that have been playing it since day one, like myself. Need some help. So we really need um, we need some decent multiplayer, and hopefully they listen to the fans this time and put in what we want, like the DLC that should have been in there from the first two movies. So peace out. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all later, alligators.